Hey guys, what is going on? This is Tyler, and today I am bringing you guys part 3 of What If Kushina Survived. Go credit down to Tyrant X down in the description below. Go check out his What If, because he actually did come up with this idea. And with that being said, be sure to get this video to 1,800 likes, and part 4 will be in the near future. Now with that being said, let's get right into part 3 of What If Kushina Survived. Hey, hey, like Now we start our story off a little bit after part 2 where currently Team 7 is waiting for Kakashi at the spot that he told them yesterday to meet up at and like in canon 3 Sand Ninja would then arrive crossing their paths which would be Konkuro, Tamari, and Gara. Gara is keen to see Naruto during the tuning exam since I feel like Naruto would be hot headed and say some stuff to Konkuro and Tamari and Gara, which basically gets Gara intrigued. By sensing Naruto's raw chakra, he already indicates that Naruto is definitely going to be a top tier opponent in the tuning exams. Now, Gara doesn't think that Naruto is above him at the moment, but he definitely do thinks he could put in the work and potentially give people like Konkuro and Tamari a run for their money. So that being said, Gara is kind of keen to see Naruto's potential fully unleashed. So with that being said, after that encounter, Kakashi would then arrive like in canon, and he would then tell them about the tuning exams, which Sasuke and Naruto are eager to participate in, while Sakura is a little bit more hesitant like in canon. And Kakashi then decides to actually do a test for the tuning exams, which indicates to Kakashi that they're ready, and like in canon, they all pass the test. So with that being said, we can now get started into the tuning exams. So one thing that does change is Rock Lee versus Sasuke, and the thing that changes is when Naruto rushes at Lee, I feel like he would actually do a lot better than what he did in canon and Loki do just as good as Sasuke with this two tomo Sharingan but like in canon he would still get washed now I feel like Rock Lee wouldn't use the first gate on Naruto however he would just put in a lot more effort and work than he did against Sasuke and beat him to the side quickly now with that being said Sasuke and Rock Lee would then have their fight like in canon and like in canon guy would then stop him and punching him in the face and so team 7 could then go and check in which means they can now participate in the tuning exams and we can finally get into round one of the tuning exams now just like for most of this part of the timeline the first round of the tuning exams kind of stays is parallel to the canon counterpart. He would still cheat off Hinata's test, however, I feel like he would actually say that he's not going to give up a lot earlier than his canon self, since he is a lot more hot-headed, so he'll probably get a lot more frustrated easier. And with that being said, they would actually pass the tuning exams round 1 earlier than in canon. So now we can get into the Forest of Death. Like in canon, Anko still explains about the Forest of Death, and they still get 10 minutes to head into the forest before they can really try and attack each other. After the 10 minutes are up, Team 7 would still face the same trials as they do, like in canon, which would eventually mean they would encounter Orochimaru. And really, when Naruto and Orochimaru start to fight, since I feel like Naruto would actually want to fight Orochimaru a lot more than he did in canon, based on the fact that Sasuke and Sakura are scared, and for the sake of wanting to protect his teammates and his hot-headedness and rashness, he would decide to try and combat Orochimaru. Now, when Orochimaru and Naruto first fight, Naruto doesn't use Kurama's chakra at all, and Orochimaru just easily thrashes him and at that point he would then summon a snake which the snake would then proceed to eat naruto and naruto understanding that he can't die because he needs to protect his teammates decides to let out all the chakra inside of him and eventually all that chakra would then burst out unleashing karama's chakra which allows naruto to then tap into the karama state with having the one-tailed cloak and at that point something else begins to form chains around naruto's body at that point naruto then summons multiple shadow clones which explode the snake as a whole and at that point we then see naruto glowing in an orange aura with chains around him at that point naruto then charges at orochimaru which orochimaru then easily dodges him however naruto with his chains decides to then lift up his right arm which would then command the chains to then go flying towards orochimaru to then suck up all of his chakra and with that being said the chains actually do outspeed orochimaru draining his chakra significantly and at that point Orochimaru has barely enough chakra to stand and so he decides to cut the battle a lot shorter than he did in canon and actually use all of his chakra to then condense it into his feet and then activating body flicker blitzing past Naruto and then biting Sasuke with the curse mark and then dipping away. 
However, as Orochimaru proceeds to dip off, Sasuke then collapses, and Naruto, seeing Sasuke collapse and Orochimaru take off, decides to use all of his chakra to then dash towards Orochimaru, outspeeding him, and then using his chakra chains once again to then drain Orochimaru with all of his chakra. And with that being said, Orochimaru now has barely any chakra to even get up, and Orochimaru is now standing defeated, and all we see is just Naruto laughing maniacally with all this overflowing chakra spewing out of his body. At that point, Orochimaru then tells the sound trio to then help him out and so Zaku along with Kin along with Dosu drop down from the trees and they then decide to combat Naruto. Zaku and Dosu both shoot out sound blasts which Naruto easily dodges and Naruto while he's dodging decides to go right around them and so Dosu and Zaku and Kin have no idea where Naruto is they just he's just completely not in their field of vision when all of a sudden they would then turn around and Naruto is already behind them getting ready to punch both Dosu and Zaku in the face and so he successfully does that sending dosu and zaku flying into the ground at that point kin tries to pull out her bells however as she tries to do that naruto blitzes towards kin just smacking her in the face sending her through two trees and knocking her out cold at that point zaku and dosu then decide to use all of their power and they combine both of their powers into one powerful sound blast, which Naruto actually is easily able to dodge. At that point, Naruto then goes right behind Dosu and Zaku once again, drop kicking Zaku this time, knocking him out cold, and then punching Dosu right through a tree. Orochimaru watching his three students get bodied decides to use this time to actually escape and so this actually works in his success. So basically, Orochimaru manages to escape as Naruto is just severely bullying his pupils. Rock Lee, seeing all this chaos go down, decides to actually drop down to ensure Sakura's safety since Sasuke is kind of weakened right now and Sakura is just kind of standing there defenseless. So Rock Lee comes to Sakura's defense, but Sakura would then tell Rock Lee that Naruto's actually been the one defending them. And Naruto seeing Rock Lee and also remembering the fact that Rock Lee did bully Naruto, Kurama decides to use this to his advantage and inform Naruto or remind him that Rock Lee was the one who defeated him earlier, but with Kurama's chakra, there's no way Rock Lee could beat him now. So Naruto, kind of being manipulated by Kurama, decides to attack Rock Lee, and this leads into Rock Lee actually having no other choice but to use the first gate. And so, he then tries to go in for a primary lotus, he tries to go in for the first kick to launch him into the air, however, as this happens, Naruto managed just to outspeed him, punching him right in the face, sending him flying. Now right after this, Neji then decides to drop down, seeing his teammate in trouble, and he then gets into a Huga stance, but in that instance, Naruto then collapses to the ground due to exhaustion and overexertion from using all that chakra, because his body can't really handle all of that. Kurama being frustrated at the fact that Naruto's little body can't maintain all of his chakra, just gets upset in his cage, and he just decides to lay dormant until Naruto then eventually awakes. Now after this, Sasuke then collapses to the ground, and this leaves Sakura being the only conscious member of Team 7. Neji decides to grab Rock Lee and then retreat along with Tenten, and Sakura for the next couple of hours decides to just await for Naruto and Sasuke to wake up, and eventually they do wake up, with Sasuke actually waking up in his base form rather than his Curse Mark 1, and Naruto waking up in his base form rather than his QB state. Sasuke and Naruto being confused as to what had happened, Sakura would just explain to them quickly as to what had went down, and as this happens, Kabuto then arrives, and this part of the Chunin exams then goes down as per normal with Kabuto, helping them get the scrolls. And so, this concludes round 2 of the tuning exams, and we can now head into round 3. Now, unlike round 2 of the tuning exams, for the most part in this timeline, at least for the first part of the tuning exams of round 3, most of this goes down as per normal with Ino and Sakura fighting, Kiba and Naruto fighting. Only difference going down in that fight, I can see, is really Naruto activating a little bit of Kurama's chakra to beat Kiba rather than shitting in his face. But for the most part, every other match kind of goes down as per normal, with Naruto and Kiba being really the only exception. Sasuke would still get overwhelmed with the curse mark, but he would still beat his opponent, which leads into Kakashi then training Sasuke for the next part of the training exams. Sakura and Ino, like I said, still goes down as per normal. Neji and Hinata's fight still goes down as per normal. Rock Lee and Gaara's fight still happens as per normal. Basically, the first part of round three goes down as per normal, and eventually we would then get a one month gap. However, one difference that does go down is Naruto would actually train with Kushina to try and manipulate the chakra change, since I do believe 
right after round three of the tuning exams i feel like naruto would actually tell kushina that he actually discovered the chains since kushina and naruto have actually had previous conversations about the chains so i feel like kushina for the most part would try and teach naruto control over kurama and the chakra chains until eventually jiraiya would then actually visit the village hug kushina since it has been a while since they last seen each other and kushina actually thinks of this as a good time to tell jiraiya to actually train naruto up since naruto does need a little bit of training and kushina isn't really as good of a teacher as jiraiya and so jiraiya would actually ask kushina for the most part what did she really teach him how to do and kushina would just basically tell jiraiya that she taught him a little bit of control over not only karama but also the chakra chains jiraiya seeing great potential within naruto decides to take him in and jiraiya and naruto then decide to do their training like in canon which naruto would learn about the summoning jutsu more control over karama's chakra and a little bit more control over the chains as well and overall just has increased his natural abilities by a significant margin so what's going to go down in the second part of round three of the tuning exams will naruto win the tuning exams well what's really going to go down in part four well you guys can actually go find out in part four because that is where we're going to be leaving things for right now thank you guys for watching this part if you guys did enjoy and like it be sure to hit the like button down below also consider sharing and commenting also subscribe and hit the notification bell that way you're notified and updated every time i upload in case you are new and with that being said be sure to join the discord that way you can interact with me and other youtube content creators such as anime x anime villain etc along with considering following me on twitter my name is tyler and i'm gonna get up out of here peace out thank you guys for watching